Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for those of you who don't know me, my name is Chloe. But you call me Miss Chloe. Period. I'm so excited about today's video because okay, so today's video is basically going to be a review on before I go to that, let's talk about my hair. Do you see these curls though? Hmm. This is from my hair collection. Bell Shivy by Chloe. www.bellshivybychloe.com. Check out my Instagram at Bell Shivy by Chloe. But this is my coconut curl texture. A very popular. My, this is my best seller actually. Um, this unit that I have on my head is I birthday unit so i named her chloe because it's only right that i named her chloe because, <laughs> because that is when that texture became very popular after my birthday when i first posted the picture and i was like this is my my birthday week or whatever whatever everybody wanted that hair so the lens that i have are 30 30 20 in 26 four bundles and a 5 by 5 20 inch closure i'll put a link below it's my coconut curl texture now I know I see why everybody love the coconut curl because look at it. I want to be look at it. <laughs> look at it. I was excited a little bit more. Okay, so every year for Christmas I always invest in myself and my business. I always get myself at least two or three Christmas gifts that usually are very expensive, but I save for them, you know, improve the quality of my overall business, provide better stuff for my clients. Blah, 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 blah. So, I got an EAP heat flat iron. Now, most people probably look at me like, okay, Chloe, what's so special about the flat iron? Basically, I saw it on Instagram a while back. I have been following the page and I have been obsessed because it seems to be like the best flat iron in the entire world. Just based on the videos that I've I've seen, wow, I'm about to say based on the videos that I've seen, based on the videos that I've seen, <laughs> any kind of hair, curly hair, kinky curly hair, people with 4C hair texture from very curly to bone straight with one pass. Now, if you know most flat irons need to go more than one pass to make your hair bone straight, but apparently this flat iron only need one pass to make it bone straight. So I also want y'all to see that when you have 100% um, virgin hair, good quality hair, good quality hair, it can straighten and it can revert back to curly. So I'm going to flat iron the entire wig and tonight I'm going to spray it and revert it back to show that it can curl back up. So, oh, I look so cute today. Look at my eyeshadow. I know, I know, I know too good at eyeshadow, but I try something. Y'all, now I understand why everybody love coconut curl. Now, all I did was put some water and conditioner in a spray bottle with a little bit of argan oil, sprayed my hair, saturated my hair, and I used a Denman brush. Where is it? Let me show you. My back, no. I'm not sure because I have another video coming after this for a hair company. Um, I have to show you how to define the curl, so I'll do that in that video. But all I use is water and conditioner and a Denman brush. And I define my curls, I let it air dry overnight, and I woke up this morning and this is what I got. Okay. Oh, this is the fire. I took so much, let me show you iron. This is what it looks like. So pretty. So it has the EAP heat logo. I put all the information for the flat iron down below if you want to get it. That flat iron is not cheap. I tell you that off the bat it's not cheap, but it is worth the price. So EAP heat, if you ever come across this video, you want to run me a discount code. My Instagram name is at Bell She Be Right Like email address, I'll put it below. Y'all can email me and we can do a collab. Okay. Yeah, I need a discount code so I can give to my client one. It's green. It's automatically on 450. I'm going to leave it on 450 because I need my shit to be hot. So all I'm going to be using is just a comb. I'm going to do the comb chase method. I might use a little bit of heat protectant spray or argan oil. I'm not sure. It. Kinky curly bundles. This is my kinky curly hair texture. I have one bundle here, and I'm going to try to flat iron this bundle. I'm going, to hold I'm going to try to flat iron like a piece to show that if you have hair like that, that that flat iron will flat iron your hair bone straight. Okay, as you can see, this is how long the hair is. You see, my flat iron is on 450. You put the comb right here, you take the flat iron, just bring it down. Mm. 
so i did a giveaway on instagram this has really been on my mind i personally I really like to do giveaways because in the past the people who have won the giveaways, not everybody, but a few other people who have won the giveaways have, have been very unappreciated. They feel like they're entitled or either they won the giveaway and I have to be running behind them to get the, their prize. So I'm like, why do I have to be running after you for you to get your prize? Like, if I win a free wig, since I've been your DMs, as soon as I see the mentions and I won, I've been your DMs and your ass for that wig until that wig come back and I get the wig in my hand. So I said I wasn't going to name the anymore, but I, I, mean, I don't feel like I should let one person spoil it for everybody. I decided to do another giveaway. I said I'll give away a wig again. I don't know, I just to give in. Like, I always want to give. That's my problem. I feel like at the same time, it was a social experiment because it really showed me how people are really not supportive. But if you say you're going to give something away for free, then that's when they, they're going to support so I will post a picture on a regular basis and 90% of the people that are reposting the flyer and commenting to, to try to win a free wig they will not like my pictures like on my that's my business page yeah? they will not like my pictures they will not comment they will not share they will not like I always try to post interactive captions where I ask questions like I ask you did uh, I post this wig on my, on my website or you know do you like this color whatever whatever I post pictures with captions like that and nobody would answer me maybe one person might comment everybody would ignore it but as soon as I post a picture like, saying I'm doing a giveaway everybody in the mother sharing the picture to try to win a free wig and I'm like y'all not supportive on a regular like not saying that you have to buy a wig from me but y'all don't support it Either way, like, not a like, not a comment, nothing. But as soon as I post, I'm giving away a free wig, everybody come out from under the rock to try to win a free wig. So I'm like, I'll just show you how people are just not supportive. And they want they want they can get them for free. I just really hope somebody that who deserves it wins the wig because I'd be so mad if, if another unappreciated person win. I posted a thing one day and I was like, I was asking and I'm like, you know, what, what's your dream wig? One girl commented and said, 40 inch wig. 40 inch wig? So you mean to me if you win a giveaway, you want me to provide you for 40 inch wig? I mean, I'm already giving you something. I, I would say at least you can do it, just be considerate. But then again, no, because I'm not going to take my pastor and ask what you want. So that, that's what the girl wants, what the girl wants. But people are just indiscreet. And another thing I observed too is that my marketing is A1 because since we went from 5,807 5, followers to 6,207 followers in like 3 days just because that I had a one giveaway. So the marketing strategy that I used was you have to tag free friends and the friends have to follow me in order for you to win. So boom, my followers like went up. That's a good marketing strategy for anybody who owns a small business. If you're doing a giveaway, make sure that you encourage them to tag people who have to follow you in order for them to win. That's a good strategy for anybody who has a business and you know, they want to increase their followers. Christmas is around the corner. What's on my Christmas wish list? For me, the kind of person I am, I like to buy the expensive stuff that I want for myself and then give my friends and family and everybody else. The option of getting me something that's reasonably priced so i got that eap heat flat iron which was one of my my christmas list um i want to upgrade my sewing machine and last year for christmas i bought myself that machine so it's only right that i upgrade this year so i want to get a lot of um business related stuff i want to get uh i think it's called a label machine because i ship out orders so much i always have to be writing the client address on the paper blah 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 that is taking too long so i want to order a label machine it's like 200 dollars but it will save me a lot of time so that way i don't have to be writing the stuff and going to the post office i can just print out the stuff from the label machine and have ups picked up from my house because i just happened to get cool since is now walking to the post office in that code to deliver packages i mean when i have to i do it but if i can find an easier way which it will cost me money but it's an investment so it will save me more money in the future because save me time too because i don't have to go leave my home and go to the post office like i can do something else within that time like make another week so i'm going to invest in that i want a new laptop but i also want some headphones like, i want a camera but i feel like i don't need a camera because i use my phone to record and i feel like i get pretty good footage from my phone if i get one i get one but eventually i really need a camera because i edit from my phone so i think it's easier that way too 
I like gift cards, so maybe I see for a gift card, I can buy what I want. From 21, Fashion Nova. Throw it inside there for watch this video. For 21, Fashion Nova, Sephora gift cards. I'm not sure what I'm doing for Christmas this year. <laughs> if you watched my last video, you saw my aunt was advertising a birthday party, her 50th birthday party that everybody is invited to, including y'all. Um, her birthday is on Christmas Eve, and then my stepmother's birthday is on Christmas Day. So my aunt wants to have like a big 50th birthday party. So I think that's what we might be doing for Christmas. We might have like a big um, birthday party. She won't have a big birthday party, so she's already said she don't want nobody to wear red. I don't understand how you don't want people to wear red on Christmas. She only, only she must wear red. So I'm like, but it's Christmas and I want to wear red. So and it's our red hair. So um. I wanted, to, I wanted to do vlogmas but since of the time the editing i can record the videos that's not a problem but the editing part does take so long i, I have like three videos already recorded out to edit plus that one making four so i like to edit twice so i go i do a rough a rough edit and then i go back in and i perfect little stuff and then i have my little captions my little you know I like to do extra stuff to make my videos look funnier. I like to go in and make sure that my videos have that little extra spice. Christmas is really a, is like a really busy time for me and you all know I do everything by myself. I don't have any help so what I have, I'm easy wigs to make and ship out. And the process of making wigs, customizing wigs and shipping them out takes about three days. Um, I don't have time to be editing videos because editing videos alone taking about 24 hours i don't mind to tell you i really doubt i want to know what i do on a daily basis because on a daily basis my life is boring all i do is make wigs yes you'll be able to straighten your hair but would it stay bone straight in the kind of humidity that we like that we have home nope i highly doubt that so i say if you want to get straight hair get straight hair if you want to get curly hair get curly hair don't buy curly hair to straighten it because it will not stay bone straight that's just something to keep in mind Curly hair is supposed to be curly, it's not supposed to be straight, so don't buy the hair with the intention of saying, Oh, I'm gonna buy the hair and I'm gonna straighten it. Yes, you can straighten it, but it doesn't mean that it will necessarily stay straight because it's not meant to be straight. So, that is a quick disclaimer out there before somebody can come for me and say, Oh, I buy your hair and it's not staying straight, you're not getting more straight. It's not supposed to be straight, it's curly hair, sis. That's the point of it. Curly hair. You just have the option of straightening it or trying out different styles if you feel like it. But it's not supposed to stay straight. If you want straight hair, buy straight hair. I have a couple of story times. I wanted to do a story time on that time when my mother beat me. <laughs> my mother beat me in front of my crush at the time. And the dumb reason she beat me. Mommy. I want to do a video on single life, how I cope, how I manage, you know. I want to do a video. I have a few videos. I don't think about all my video ideas for somebody steal them. So as the new year commences as well, I'll also be making a few changes in terms of my business. But I can't tell you all yet. You're often to see. But a lot of stuff is going to change, including my prices. So the people that are complaining that it's expensive now, it's going to be more expensive next year. I guess because it's in US and when you can put the US to EC, because most of my clients are from back home, when you can put the US to EC, it's a lot of money, yes, but a good wig and good quality hair is an investment. So it's not cheap hair you're buying. Look at the kind of quality that you're buying. The hair can flat iron and all of that. So even though it's good quality, it can flat iron, it can take curls, it can do all of that. When I first started doing, doing hair, I was charging 40 EC. That is barely even 15 US. As you all can see, I finished, finished, finished. Is the word finished or finished? Whatever. I finished flat iron my hair. Do you think it's a really good flat iron? Because in my opinion, it is. This is one side, the straight side, and this is the curly side. I'm so so fast when I'm excited. Okay, so let's go to pack. Oh my god, that's it. Nothing. This young lady who has a brand, um, I'll put her Instagram name below. You can go check her out. And she has a clothing line, and it's about Jesus now. If you're not religious, then that's fine. Maybe you don't have to watch. You can skip through this part of the video. But I believe in God. I love Jesus. I'm not gonna talk about it, but I am a very um. 
I won't say I'm religious, but <laughs> I try to be. <laughs> it says Jesus. But it's not about Jesus. Basically, it's saying Jesus, but it says Jesus. So she sent me a red one. I'm so excited. And she also sent me a hat. You know, I like hats. I have a million. I literally probably have like about 40 hats. All colors, all styles. I need y'all to screenshot this. Screenshot this. Screenshot this. And post it on your story. Tag Belle, she like Chloe and Miss Chloe and tag EAP Heat, okay? Tag them. I want that video to go viral. I want them to see that videos they can repost it to their page, okay? Your girl is trying to get some sponsorships. Hopefully they see that video and they actually like it. Then they will reach out to me and give me a discount code so I can give to y'all. And maybe we can do some collabs in the future where they can send me some stuff for free. <laughs> to review because i paid for that for my money so this is basically a free promo eap heat i'm gonna fast forward because i don't talk too much my throat already dry and i'm not gonna talk about it anyway so i'm gonna flat iron this side and then show all the things to okay so i'm done flat ironing my hair I don't know what happened to my face. Like I have a pimple there. I have two pimples in one. I have one there. I have one here. I have one here. Like my face is breaking out. I don't know who the hell, whoever doing voodoo on me. I don't get pimples. I don't get pimples. So for me to have pimples on my face, it's just so weird because I never get pimples. Let me know what y'all think. From curly to straight, I feel like for the most part, this is a really good flat iron. I would recommend it. Um, out of ten, I would probably honestly give it a eight point seven five or something like that. Like almost nine, but not nine per se. But it's really good, really, really good. Look at the head size. Okay, so I'm going to take a small piece. My Christmas look, but y'all see why I do it. I'm gonna do one pass and show y'all. So that's how you know this is a good flat iron. One pass. I did one pass, and that's kinky curly hair. So if you have hair like this and you use this flat iron, your hair can get bone straight. I hate the fact that I have to wet my hair and curl it back up after I take two hours to flat iron my hair. And if you want to see how Ari put the girls back just check my instagram follow me on instagram at misschloe.x right here and on my business page at bell she be by chloe check out my website if you want to get these bundles or you want to get these bundles i'll put the information right here and the link below so watching my video give me a thumbs up if you want more videos like this or comment and let me know what should i do next in terms of like hair videos or videos in general well, i think that's all okay guys bye i actually find that it's 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 nice to have somebody think of doing something like that like have a business that caters to like young people so it can encourage us to be more into um god and being more religious and stuff like that so that's cute it's like you know you you showing that you're proud and you but it caters to like our generation that makes sense you know but it's cute if you want to purchase a, the hat from her or any of her t-shirts the link will be below the g like that's just so it my g and they match my outfit i didn't even plan that it matched my entire outfit so Feel free to support her um she's a young black business owner so support black businesses okay bear gal in the army when we step in the party i wanna up up on a yardie watch me dancing on you